Are you looking to get recruited to college to play beach volleyball, maybe even get a scholarship, play on the team of your dreams? If so, this is the video for you. Hi guys, welcome back. Joe Kremer here, better at beach coach and former three-time national champion with the USC beach volleyball team. Today, we're gonna to be talking about college recruiting. This video specifically is gonna be about starting the recruiting process. It's a very long and arduous process, so we're gonna have a lot of videos with more details for you to catch up on. So after you watch this one, go ahead and check out the others to get all the information. Colleges are starting the recruiting process earlier and earlier. We suggest starting your recruiting process before your junior year. However, if you're a junior in high school right now and you still wanna get recruited, it's certainly not impossible to get recruited at this time. If you're a freshman who has varsity or elite club film, you're probably ready to start the recruiting process. For athletes who hit their stride a little later, maybe during their sophomore year, this is a totally acceptable time to start the process as well. So the first step of the recruiting process is being honest with yourself and figuring out what division you fit into. NCAA Division I is the highest level of college beach volleyball you can play. This is a very competitive level. It does offer scholarships and less than 2% of high school athletes go on to play NCAA Division I. If you think that you're not quite gonna make the Division I cut, you can look at NCAA Division II schools. Division II is still super competitive, offers scholarships, and just maybe doesn't take up as much of your time when you're in college as playing at a Division I school would. The next option is NCAA Division III. This is a great option if you're looking for a better academic school or you wanna put more time into either your academics, extracurricular, maybe you have to work, maybe you just don't wanna to have to spend so much time playing beach volleyball. Division III might be right for you. Division III schools do not offer scholarships, so that is something to consider when you're looking at schools. So the next division is NAIA schools. This is simply a smaller community than the NCAA, about 250 schools, and it's the perfect division for athletes that want to play in college but don't want to devote all of their time to their sport. They do offer scholarships and it's a great option if you're looking for a smaller or a private school as well. The next division is junior colleges. A junior college is a great option for someone who wants to see what playing a sport is like at a two-year institution before transferring to a four-year university. This is also a great option for people who are starting the recruiting process a little later. If you're late in your sophomore year or early in your junior year, you might want to consider going to a junior college with the intent to then transfer to a four-year university. So now that you know a little bit about the different divisions, let's go over the timeline of what the recruiting process looks like. If you're starting in your freshman year, which is ideal, Take your freshman year to research different division levels, what they mean, what schools are in different divisions. During your freshman year, you should also take the time to learn all the NCAA recruiting rules. So once you get into your sophomore year, it's time to step it up a notch, start making a highlight reel and skills video, and start reaching out to coaches. I know this can be a little scary to reach out to coaches, but we're gonna have a whole separate video for you about what to put in your highlight video and also how to draft an email to coaches, what exactly to say, how often you should contact them. Hint, you should contact them as much as possible and do not be offended if they don't respond right away because they get hundreds of emails and they will not think it's weird at all if they get 30 emails from you. All they'll think is that you're super interested in the school, which is great. So now we're moving on to your junior year. Things are starting to get serious. You've already made some initial contact with coaches via email, but now hopefully you're starting to narrow down your school choices and you're actually gonna start calling these coaches, especially if you haven't heard back from them via email. Just call them, call them, call them. Eventually they will pick up and they'll be happy to talk to you. During your junior year, you're also going to compile a list of your target schools. We would love for you to pick out 20 schools that you would like to attend. I know this sounds like a lot, there's about 90 schools in the US, so there's a lot to choose from. The way you're gonna compile your list is you're gonna have five safety schools. These are schools that you think you could get into academically. You think that you could easily play on that team skill-wise. Next, you're gonna have 10 target schools. These schools are the ones you really want to play at. It's not necessarily a reach for you to play at these schools, but it's not a done deal that you would like be the best player on the team. 
It might also be a little bit of a reach academically, but still within your range. Then you're gonna add on five reach schools. These schools might be a little bit out of your range, whether it's academically, financially, or athletically. These are schools that you would love to play at, but you're not 100% sure if you could get there. All right, so now we're in your senior year. It's getting really close to college time. Things are getting exciting. Unfortunately, if you are just starting the recruiting process now, I would expect that you would have to go through a junior college before transferring to a four-year university. If you've started your recruiting process around your freshman or sophomore year, like we recommend, by the time you get to your senior year, you should have already received an offer or be talking to schools and have an offer in the works. All right, so that's it for starting the recruiting process. This video is basically an overview about how to get started, and we're gonna come out with more videos that go into more detail about how you search for a college, how you communicate with coaches, how you create a highlight video to send to coaches, and about scholarships. If you have any questions about this video or about when you should start the recruiting process, please leave it in the comments below and I personally will get back to you.